Hello and welcome to History of the Day series of Triumph IAS. First we will start from the important birthdays of 14th February. Birthday of Akamacharian, a freedom fighter. She was born on 14th February 1909 in a Nasrani family at Kanzirapalli, Travancore to Thoman Cherian and Annamma Karipaparambil as their second daughter. She was schooled at the Government Girls High School, Kanzirapalli and later at St. Joseph's High School, Tanganachari. She did a BA in History from St. Teresa's College, Irnakulam after which she took up teaching at St. Mary's English Medium School, Erkakra in the year 1931. She later went on to become the headmistress of this school and worked for this institution for six years. Birthday of Kutti Kunju Thankachi Kutti Kunju Thankachi was an Indian composer and writer of Malayalam literature known to be the first female poet and composer of Kerala. She was the author of a number of attakthas such as Parvathis Vyamvaram and Mithrasa Moksham. Srimanthi Swayamvaram and a play Ajnathvasam. Birthday of Sushma Swaraj Sushma Swaraj was a politician and a Supreme Court lawyer. A leader of Bhartiya Janata Party, Swaraj served as the Minister of External Affairs of India in the first Narendra Modi government. At the age of 25 in 1977, she became the youngest cabinet minister of the Indian state of Haryana. She also served as fifth chief minister of Delhi and became the first female chief minister of Delhi. Birthday of Indian actress Madhubala Madhubala was an Indian actress and producer who worked in Hindi cinema. She starred in more than 60 films in a career spanning over two decades. Also, she is India's most popular and highest paid actor between the late 1940s and early 1960s. Madhubala rose to international prominence with her roles in the comedies M.R. and Mrs. 55, Chalti Ka Naam Gadi and Half Ticket, the crime films Havda Bridge and Kala Pani, and the musical Barsat Ki Raat. Moving on to the important events happened on 14th February. Pulwama Attack 2019 On 14th February 2019, a terror attack was carried out in Pulwama in Jammu and Kashmir by a suicide bomber resulting in the death of 40 CRPF personnel. The suicide bomber, identified as Jai Shimohammad's Adil Ahmad Dar, rammed his vehicle into a bus with a CRPF convoy. World body United Nations and countries from across the globe, including the US, Russia, Australia, France, Saudi Arabia, Sri Lanka and Bangladesh, have condemned the brutal Pulwama terror attack and extended their support to India in the fight against terrorism. The Pulwama attack was one of the deadliest terrorist attacks in Jammu and Kashmir. The suicide bombing was carried out by a member of the Pakistani militant group Jaish Mohammed, which has been designated as a terrorist organization by several countries. Jain claimed responsibility for the attack which targeted a convoy of vehicles carrying Indian security personnel on the Jammu Srinagar National Highway. The attack led to a military escalation between India and Pakistan, with India conducting airstrikes on alleged Jain camps in Pakistan's Balakot region. The Indian government took several measures in the aftermath of the attack, including revoking the most favoured nation status granted to Pakistan, increasing tariffs on Pakistani goods, and launching a diplomatic offensive to isolate Pakistan on the global stage. The Indian government also passed a bill to amend the Unlawful Activities Act to empower the government to designate individuals as terrorists and seize their properties. YouTube launched YouTube is an American online video sharing and social media platform owned by Google which was launched on this day. It was launched in 2005 by Steve Chain, Chad Hurley, and Javed Karim. It is the second most visited website, after Google. The first video uploaded to the site was entitled Me at the Zoo and was posted by co-founder Javed Karim. Initially, YouTube was a small startup company, but it quickly grew in popularity, and by November 2006, it was acquired by Google for $1.65 billion. Under Google's ownership, YouTube continued to expand its offerings, adding new features such as live streaming, channel subscriptions, 
and a revenue-sharing program for content creators. Today, YouTube is one of the most popular websites on the internet, with over 2 billion monthly active users and over 500 hours of video content uploaded to the site every minute. It has also become a significant platform for digital marketing, entertainment, and education, with a vast range of content available on the site. Coronation of Akbar as Ruler of the Mughal Empire Akbar was crowned as the ruler of the Mughal Empire on 14 February 1556, after the sudden death of his father, Humayun. Akbar was just 13 years old at the time and initially faced challenges from various rival claimants to the throne, including his own half-brother. Despite these challenges, Akbar was able to assert his authority and consolidate his power over the empire with the help of his regent, Baram Khan. He embarked on a series of military campaigns to expand the Mughal Empire, eventually establishing a vast and powerful state that encompassed much of present-day India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. Akbar's reign is widely regarded as a high point in the history of the Mughal Empire, known for his policy of religious tolerance, administrative reforms, and cultural patronage. He encouraged art, architecture, and literature, and his court became a center of cultural innovation and exchange. Akbar's legacy as a ruler is still celebrated in India, and his reign is considered as a period of great cultural and artistic achievement.